That was creepy. What happened? The door just opened. The door just fucking opened. Which door? As we were I mean, we don't know. We, we, I think it was. I think it was that one because we were. One, we weren't even here yet. We were yeah. down where like Heather is, and you heard the creaking. You can't even do it right now. Close it back and open it back up because it was always. It definitely creeped though because it did it again when you touched it. I don't know what what door it was, but. No, it wasn't that one. Mm -hmm. Is it one open? Oh, there is a draft. Is there? Oh, hell yeah. Another okay. draft bit of God. Okay. Maybe it was that. There's so much wind I can't tell. Yeah, I can't. I can't hear a thing. But it's also like getting colder, but I don't know if that's just wind. Yeah. Probably. My left arm feels a little chillier, but. We definitely can't hear you with our ears, and it's going to be hard for our equipment here to pick up anything you might say because of the wind today. Is I am there, actually feeling a chill on my neck right now. Is there any way you can possibly really give us a sign that you're here, or just speak really loudly so we can hear you and talk with you? Emma, are you over by me right now, or is that just the wind? And you didn't feel it before, right? No. But you could have also planted the idea. <laughs> that sounded like a little scratching or something, but hard to know if that's... I thought it might have been a fly. From the wind, or do you think a fly? Is that you or a fly? Do you hear that high pitch squeal? I heard that high pitch squeal. I thought it was something outside. I didn't hear any cars, but the little chair is doing. I do see several flies up here, so it could have been. Could have been. Could have been. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them up there. Oh, oh yeah. there you go. There's a lot. Kind of setting themselves on the window. But that sounded like it came from down here. Is this your bed, George? 
so it's still very comfortable. Is there any other woman in here? So that's George's story here. George was born December 23, 1865, the superintendent of the Genesee County Poor Farm. Hello. Held the position for 29 years. George, was that you that made that noise down here? Excuse me, I sneezed. Bless you. Thank you. We were just down the hall. And we thought we heard a little something down here and decided to check it out. If you're here, we'd like to meet you. Why would you go pull in there? It's an odd location. No, yeah, that's a little different. And if it's not George that was down here making that noise, if there's somebody else in here, what's your name? We'd really like to meet you. There a little movement out of this corner over here. Are you hiding here. back behind the chair? I was hearing a few clicks in here. You're hearing clicks in there, and I was hearing something over here interesting. Is there a young lady in here? You yes. hiding behind the chair? Can you tell me who you are? Why you're hiding? Yeah, I just heard another little click back there. Did you? You. All right, I'm just gonna sit in the chair. You're back there. You want to whisper in my ear? As a truck revs up going down the road. Again? Yeah. Is that your little hiding spot? Would you whisper in this ear? My left ear. Again, my name is Mike, and this is Megan. Hello. What's your name? I've come a long way just to meet the people here. Megan's come from Maryland. I've come from Illinois. Mike wins. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, we're just taking a look at the building, trying to meet the people that are here, including you. Really, just like to meet you and say hello. Maybe learn a little bit more about you. Can you tell me something about yourself? Oh, we got the creepy baby carriage in here. You hear something? Or it's plastic wrap that's yeah. Blowing in the breeze. No, but I definitely heard something substantial move. Oh, it must be a tree or something against here that's oh, moving. Okay. Yep, I hear it. Click, 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 click. Yep. There must have been a big breeze, and I was like, oh, because that was like a, a big movement. Which room was she was talking about? The West Wing Infirmary. Cecil Speakman. Too, yeah.
Mm. It sounded kind of close. It did sound close. Okay, well. There's somebody down here that sneezed. It's a, it's not just a gateway, it's a gateway 2000, <laughs> which oh. means that's from the 90s. Wow. Math Blaster. Oh, nice. My kids used to play that. Physical science series. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that's so crazy. All right, so we were, it's a little bit down this hall here. We heard the sneeze, I think it was from down this hall. Mm -hmm. And now there's all kinds of noise going on down there, which... But it is windy, but... Which that might be from the so wind. It's so hard to right now figure out. I think we're just going to chalk this up to the wind. Since it's really gusting, things are kind of blowing around. Hard to tell all the different noises it's making throughout the hallways. But we're going to have to chalk it up to that for now. Basement. Basement of Rolling Hills. It is. Megan here. It's a pleasure to meet you. We did see this movement earlier. It did move, but we also had a we had a, a bunch, bunch of people of come yep. in the room, yep. and it turned in that direction. So could have been wind flow generated by us. Yeah, yeah I could sit on here. Sure. So Mike's gonna get she on. Said, hey. No, head up head, okay. here. Yeah, okay, because everything's closed down right there. Yeah. He's going to get onto the table as instructed by Sharon. I'm going to kind of... I hear them. That was them? Yeah. Yep. Well, they'll be in soon, hopefully. Because they're outside, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. We probably came to the wrong place at the worst time. We probably did. Huh. Well, it could be airflow, but this thing turned even more so. But yeah, I saw it, but we walked by yeah. it too, yeah. so... Yeah, because as you walk by, you do mm -hmm. take air with you. Right. So, all right. What did she say we're supposed to say here? That you need help. Okay. We really probably should wait until they're done. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about we just kind of stand quiet and see if you start to feel anything okay. without even asking. We have a body ready on the table if anybody feels like starting to work on it. something from over there. I did too. I have to record this for medical purposes. Can you start working here, please? I still hear something over there. Mm -hmm. There's some movement, it sounds like. Are we going to use that suit to bury, bury this body? Can you turn it towards us so I can make sure that it's the right suit? What's the first step you need to take with me on the table? All right, well, that was interesting. 
Ooh, it's a more trail yeah, burning at least once in your life. It's always neat to try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ramp that goes up. We were being down here last time. I can't remember specifically, but I remember getting something in this hallway. What was it? You're behind us. Or oh. straight up. Uh, near it's, us. it's so weird how I like, thought it was like right behind us. Kitchen over there. Oh, that's a pretty impressive kitchen. But actually, I think down here is a big eating area, like the cafeteria. Okay. And I think we had all of our voices down there. Is this the barber shop? Well, we've got a casket in here. This would have been a whole walk-in closet. It ends back here. It's just another space. But for some reason, I don't know why they have barricaded. There must be something the on the other side, yeah. Whatever. We'll have to look down a couple of rooms and see if... Yep. Uh, I don't, I think it was maybe used for a haunted attraction at one point, but, I mean... Uh, yeah, we'll have to see what's on the other side of this floor. But yeah, this was definitely a walk-in. Freezer or something. Yeah, that's a, that's a massive wooden door. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big door. It's Jameson Cold Storage Door Company, Hagerstown, Maryland. Wow. All right. Small world. Safe door. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Let's see what's on the other side of this. Um, another access to cold storage. That's just full, but then there's more plywood. That would have been. Huh. Yeah. It's, it's all cold storage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if there is a shadow person in here, I am very interested in learning more about shadow people. Currently writing a book. I'll give you full credit. I'd like to come forward. And be interviewed for it. What? I guess that's a tree that's making all the oh. blocking of light and stuff. We're hoping somebody takes the uh, the opportunity to try to come out and meet us. I know it probably takes a lot of energy on your end, but we would love to either hear you or see you or feel you. This is really quiet down here. Of course, as I say that. Hello. No, that's different. How is that? It's only like metal. Yeah, it's wood. But it was deep. It had a resonance to it. 
did you just kill? Um. What is that? Is that a bone? It's a bone. If, it would, if this camera would focus, please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, camera focus. Thank you. That sound just gets crap at me. Yep. That is a bone. Must have caught a really strong gust to, to knock the wood into the metal. It's up around there somewhere. I'm gonna step on something's bone over here. Maybe somebody was eating chicken wings under here? I don't know. I mean, it's old. There's, it's covered in dust. It has to be an animal bone. It's, it's small. It doesn't, um, yeah, it doesn't look like a chicken bone. It's too big for a chicken bone. Cat? I don't know. I would have loved to have seen it before you stepped on it. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> I was walking across the room. Can you guys tell us what this was? <laughs> Any other bones? Yeah, any other bones. Just kind of random. More utility. Oh, wow. I feel like maybe this was the last thing. I'd have to watch that episode. So, what are we going to do? The tunnel. Oh. There's a short tunnel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 